Hello, I'm Ron Irwin. I'm Victor Weebo. Richard Perry. And we, we are, are the Three Amigos. Amigos. We got a great show today. We have uh, Jama is going to be with us. And <laughs> of Majima. Yeah. Of Majima. <laughs> no, 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 Majima, Jama. 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 The, the, the ma flipped out, but that's okay. We'll stick with the Jama and we'll get it done. <laughs> and they're going to be talking about an absolutely horrible movie that they made and they're really proud of it. So we're going to be talking about that and uh, some of the, you know, things like that. Uh, we have a few little commercial messages we want to start off with, including I've got some really interesting news about northern minerals, but let's first talk about greater heating, greater nation, yep. greater heating, cooling. Yeah, let's cooling, get to that. Now that we've entered okay. fall, uh, our friends at Greater Nation Healing, Heating and Cooling still have their great deal going on. Uh, get your uh, heating and air conditioning units checked for $79 if you mention the show, and you can talk to our guy Paul Stanley, straight shooter. He's, it's, uh, you can call him at 818-857-9651. Again, that's 818-857-9651. I know you know how wonderful this last week has been. It's been so cool. We have that uh, marine layer in here. Mm -hmm. Unless you're listening in Cincinnati, then I don't know what you call it. But uh, <laughs> we've got... <laughs> We're picking Cincinnati in particular. I don't know why. But <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's fun to but say. But you have... But guess what? It's over. The heat wave is back starting this week and back into triple mm -hmm. digits, folks. So, yeah, might want to check your AC if you want to remain comfortable. Just an idea. Yeah. And then while you're at it, you also might want to take care of a little bit of security. Yes, absolutely. Speaking security, of security. Security, absolutely. So there is an extraordinary deal, an ordinary deal that's a little bit extra here for you. So our friends over at First Digital Surveillance, if you happen to call and let them know that you heard about the show or heard about them on the show here, you get one free camera with a purchase of any system with three or more, but only when you mention the show. Also, a nice little uh, add-on here. If you happen to be a police officer or a firefighter, you will get 10% off. So not only do you get a free camera, but you also get 10% off. So you can have those cameras to kind of help keep an eye on uh, Amazon packages and who's kicking them, who's dropping them, who's taking you know, them. Who's taking them. My favorite has been seeing like the person who's driving down. They don't stop. They just toss it out the window. Boy, I'll tell you what. Why don't you have some cameras out of your building that can videotape a guy getting creamed on his motorcycle? I'm just wondering why you don't have that, because I'd yeah. sure like to know how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> the mystery continues. The mystery yeah. does continue the mystery on. Does, so does the pain. And I talked to a Burbank motor cop today and explained what happened. He goes, dude, you're just lucky to be alive. I go, well, thank you for that advice. I'll be sure to follow that. <laughs> Anyhow, we have been talking from time to time about northern minerals and exploration. This is a little public company. Yesterday, they traded 80,000 shares, boys and girls. That's a big bump for this little company. And I think I know why. I think the word is on the street. They got their first tranche of money. Uh, in, and what they need the money for is to go drill oil wells that they own. And the second tranche is going to be in next week. And then they should hope to have their first well producing before the end of September. Which means now you're talking about making money, lots of money. And for a five or six cent stock, that's a hell of a good thing. Because the amount they're going to make is probably going to be greater than the price of the stock. Just think about that for a moment. And what's that going to do? Their symbol is NMEX, like NMEX, or no MEX, like the guy in Washington. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> Northern, <laughs> oh, Northern Minerals and Exploration trades on the bulletin board. Uh, check them out and uh, make up your own decision. But yeah. do get the information. Go over to any NMEX colon OTC, and you'll get all the information about the company. You can exactly. read about it, find out about it, do something about it. Take and then when you're yourself. done with that, get ready for a party hardy. Silver oh, Spur yeah. Awards coming up the 21st of September. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Mr. Lanth here on uh, last week. Yes, yeah. we, did. Yeah, we did. And he was telling us all about his great organization, Real Cowboys, spelled R-E-E-L, Cowboys. And there's a bunch of cowboy stars from everywhere, all the way back to. I remember the Lone Ranger. Right. Oh, the Lone Ranger, Hayao Silver away. Yeah, the lo no, but I was watching it in Okinawa. It was Hayako Silverson. Okay, I kid you well, not. It really was. I mean, Rangers they probably had the same ring to them yeah. too. Yeah, and then of course there was the show where the Lone Ranger is sitting with Tonto as they're surrounded by a bunch of very angry-looking Indians and. Lone Ranger says, whoa, we're in big trouble, Tonto. And Tonto says, what you mean, we, white boy? <laughs> <laughs> but that's nothing to do with the Silver Spur Awards. The Silver nope. Spur Awards is actually real, both R-E-E-L and R-E-A-L. And it's coming up the September 21st. You want to find out about it, uh, get your tickets now because they're very limited. And you get to meet a lot of celebrities, get your picture taken with celebrities, go and impress your neighbors, woohoo, and have a lot of fun. 
Yeah. Music starts at 5 o'clock when the door opens and there's dinner and a lot of fun for everybody. The number to call is somewhere on this piece of paper. And oh, yeah, find it. There it is. 818. <laughs> <laughs> three nine five. Here you read it. All right, fine. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't need my reading glasses. Eight one eight three nine five five zero two zero. Again, Are that you is. Sure about that. I'm gonna double check here. Eight one eight three nine five five zero two zero. Okay, there you go. So that pretty much covers all that. Now let's bring our our guests. We have Jason Ellsworth. Yes. Yes. I, I may speak now. Yes, yeah. and and Matteo no. Molinari. <laughs> no, that would no, be no. yes. Oh wow. How come he gets the applause? <laughs> I, I, more words. Are always close up. Yeah, the audience, you know. He has yeah, done, done a lot more than me. Okay. So what is it that, I mean, we have some uh, audio of the movie they're making? We do? Let's listen to this for a Yeah, we got seconds. some audio here. And maybe we'll we got actually trailer, lose some more up. audience. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Is it musical? Majama. 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 Ah. The what? Disgusting. Oh. It's uh-huh. it's the uh, it's our post production crew's name. Yes. It's supposed to sound like disgusting in Italian. So. Disgusting. Ah, uh, much. It is disgusting. Uh. Oh. This is Jason. Now you listen to me. I know how you cops are. Never believing us young crazy kids when madness is afoot. Uh oh, what happened? Whoa. Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, there is a hey, shark. look at that! Lamp. Oh wait. Well, dude looks, looks like a doofus. It, like a blimp. <laughs> I think it has something to do with a script me and my brother are working on. Some sort of voodoo magic or something. You are living an adventure based on your own transportation script. How can you think we have any control in this situation? This is our movie. I'll be damned if we're gonna let some vindictive digital fish kill off the two stars. First tag. What do you expect Whoa. the shark to look like? I love this. Rendering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, you couldn't see it. how adorable the shark that was on screen was. Yes. Nice. All right. That was yeah. fantastic. All right. So it's got a kind anything. of a flavor. I don't even know what the hell's happening right now. Who's it's the funny looking guy with the hat? Here. Oh wait a minute. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> it's my, my alter ego. You owe me a f-ing laptop and gain conscious. <laughs> so basically, this is about a, a shark eating people. <laughs> Uh, but it's about so much more than that. Yes. It's about a bad-looking shark eating yes. people. More than that. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a halfway decent-looking shark than that. No, it, we, it is a halfway decent-looking shark, actually. We're, we're, we may have to change the title to somewhat actually kind of decent. Who's the funny guy with the weird we hair? Thought. I don't know, but he's fucking up the whole thing. It just seems really try-hard and goofy, honestly. Just me commenting objectively. I would have to assess him <laughs> as such. All right. I actually fought for that hairstyle. They wanted to do the, I had the longer hair at the time, and they wanted to do the hair down, and I was very adamant about not doing it. It seems very cliche, uh, especially for a Nier Duel type of uh, man Bad CGI sharks. Yes. That is your movie. That That's is our my movie. movie. Is it in post? It's ours, damn it. It's, it's, we made this. Where are you with this? Is it in post-production? It's in post-production. It's, it's where very close to yes. finishing. Okay. We have uh, our... How many times have I said that? For a, <laughs> for a strange set of circumstances, uh, the sound... Uh, has been uh, mixed in Italy, and the special effects are in Japan. Because oh, great! Because oh, yeah, I forgot two, about that because Ali's in Japan right now. The two individual of disgusting. We're international now. They are. Uh, the, I mean, Alessandro is uh, on vacation in Japan, and he's working from there. <laughs> Emilio is in Italy. We are here, okay. so it's wow. actually is a global phenomenon. Yes. Before it happens. Before it happens. <laughs> when it <laughs> happens, the shark that is going to be just like this thud yeah. and nothing else. But it landed with a deafening thud, but yes. they sure were proud of I'm it. I'm just wondering, have you given any thought whatsoever to the, even the slimmest possibility of distribution? Absolutely, yes. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, yes. We've been hit up by one or two people already just from the trailer coming out, I think. Yes. Um, it's just a... Uh, Yes, we're gonna have to, you know, feel feel the way out and see what's what. But we've been blessed to already have a couple people. Well, you told ask. Paramount to kiss off, right? We told Paramount they can go. We, sorry, yes. we can curse. It's cool. Huh? We can curse. No, no, no. no. no we can't curse. <laughs> 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 Double check. Uh, our, our, our engineer it, will electrocute you. I think it's yes. fine. It's cool. Okay. Yeah, go for it. It, it. Just, it slips out from time. But, I, but yeah. you guys have like a few hundred thousand views, right? Uh, yes, we were very lucky yeah. that uh, I, I, Bloody Disgusting, the horror site, picked us up and did an article, and that bumped us up about maybe five thousand views or so yes. in the past week. Mm-hmm. So nice. shout out to Bloody Disgusting for yes. uh, picking us up and giving they us a little fantastic. bit of press. Yeah, cool. And uh, yes, yeah, there we go. And as of now, tens of people will come and see it. Tens yes. of people. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, fun. have you ever heard of a YouTube video with over six thousand views? Yes, my God, unheard man. of. 
it's unheard. But yes, we're, we're very we're very thankful to Bloody yes. Disgusting for uh, yeah. putting us on the map, at least starting to get in the popular conscious, if you will. So. And and for some reason, some site in Spain picked. Oh, we up. had like five different international we, we, sites. Yeah, up all of a sudden, yeah. Russia, Spain, so Brazil, was, Germany. This is now in Spanish with a Japanese accent. <laughs> uh, it will be probably. done primarily in Italian. <laughs> we're gonna have yes. the whole thing dubbed by the Japanese, yeah. just you yes. know, for revenge for the Godzilla movies. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, ah, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. Our generation's Godzilla. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that would be the most flattering. If someone ever said that, I would just cry. We don't even deserve that title ever. <laughs> Love the big G. Okay. So, what was the impetus? What brought this? Why, how did how did you end up here? Yeah. How the hell did you get here, you man? You called us. I think. <laughs> you called no, 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 no. I mean, who oh, let you in oh, the building, kid? Who let you in the country? Here. Let's just start with that. Okay. Oh, why I was in? Because uh, I personally, I was sick and tired of Italy. Really? Mm. Because it's too much pasta. No, because it's is filled with Italians. <laughs> oh. And so I say, it's a unique problem. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's unique to that country. Yeah. That's a it's tiny little problem. problem. So I say, ah, let's see what I can do. So they say, oh, you, if you get a green card, you can go to America. Hey, he's already All famous right. and successful back in Italy, by the way. Just so you guys know, he's got like Italian Emmys and was uh, famous and on I shows am? and did oh, the Italian, Italian SNL. Yes. Are they, is that what they are, Italian Emmys? So it's like an Emmy, but not as important. It's it's and called Marino. <laughs> no, it's called Telegatto. And it's a, it's, a, it's a cat. It's a I know cat that. with a T and a V on his face for whatever so reason. So every day when no, we I write, I look at those three golden cats and I say, hey, damn it, it's possible that yes. this dude can get Italian Emmys, whatever the hell that means. Exactly, yeah. Me too. I'm wondering that every single time. Was, okay. that, for, was that for filmmaking or uh, performing? Television. television. Okay, okay. Uh, writing television okay. shows and stuff. He's like modest, that. so he won't really write a lot off, but he, yeah, he was already very successful back in Italy. Okay. But anyways, so... See? He hates, uh, he hates me saying that. He hates it. <laughs> so there is a law, or at least there was a law. I don't know if it's still in... Uh, no, same thing. If you have a, a, an arranged marriage, you get a green card. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, that you can self-sponsor your persona for a green card. What? Yes. If... Uh, in Why the hell did my wife not tell me that before I brought her here from the Philippines? It beats me. I could have left her there. <laughs> you never called me. Um, <laughs> if, if, if you can prove that in your country are, and get this, what they call an alien of extraordinary ability. Whoa. Uh, the golden cats. Exactly. The golden yeah. cats. Oh, the golden <laughs> cat got the or green the card. Cat. Tell your wife to get some golden cats. Should be Delegato. Tell, 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 my wife. You want to Tell my wife she needs to get a pussy. The TV cat. <laughs> Three. Golden. Three. Three. And Three. a golden. Yeah. Exactly. And hard and crusty. And <laughs> I need three hard, crusty pussies, sweetie. <laughs> this is, has been derailed. The kind of I was just picking back <laughs> on what Ron said. That was his fault. So, so pretty much I got a green car like that, and I say, okay, what, 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 what can I do here? <laughs> and, and I met him through Craigslist. Yes. Uh, because we were trying to... We don't to want to say what the ad was, but it was yes. still it, it involves a, a, a woman and a, a moose. But, but never mind. <laughs> um, and Actually, so, we, th we, we did not start out in this group. We Through the yes. Craigslist ad, we met two other guys. Shout out to Random Vaughn and Justin... God, I forgot his last Bieber. name. Bieber. Bieber. Justin Bieber, thank you. He <laughs> left us and blew yeah. up in the dust. Justin Bryan. <laughs> Justin, Justin Bryan, thank you. He was coming with that. We actually started out in another group which I guess just eventually sectioned Naturally off. Naturally dwindled out. Yeah, and, it was yeah, actually Justin from the original group has a cameo in the movie, but um, okay. just kind of brought my little brother in, and then the, the triangle clicked, and uh, I don't know. We just, we're a bunch of freaking movie nerds, so we all just... Yes, we just spend pretty much every single time in front that we have in front of the TV. I think Mateo was a movies. bit... You were a bit of a more connoisseur when we met you of the bad cinema. Matthew knew some with the, the sick, this movie about a killer clown that he loved to make fun of with his friends, but Mateo from the start really had more of a knowledge of the bad cinema, especially the creature That tells you my, my, my plateau. <laughs> bad <laughs> as, <laughs> bad yeah. in, the, as in not entertaining or bad as in uh, evil? Uh, ba Badding everything that is bad. Well, there, that's Just a very like good point that there is a, bad entertainment. Oh, there bad is sort of a relative term. I raise the bar below the, the, the goodness of movies. So <laughs> it's, it's just like, I, I mean, when, when I see a movie, there is a movie from 1965, I think, called The Incredibly Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became Mixed Up Zombies. I'm Ooh, attracted nice. to that. Because they say, what is, what that? is that? That's yeah. the actual title? <laughs> yes, that's the actual title. You never told me about that movie. Oh, before. no, my granddaughter was here three weeks ago and she met a zombie. Oh, really? Yeah, this is Sunset Gower Studios, and uh, this young lady was one of the actresses in the Disney movie Zombies. Oh, okay, that's that's I, I saw that. I was going to say she met a member of the Zombies. Yeah. It's the yes. time Why? of the season. And and it was the Zombies, right? I didn't just mess yes, up that reference. Yeah. 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 You're not planning on a singing career. 
No. <laughs> no, thank God. No. Um, he can clear a room. I, with I do rap over the credits of this movie, though. Yes. Yes. We couldn't avoid that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Forced out upon them. We tried. <laughs> we tried. Decision. We had no idea how many times, but yeah. no. So uh, this is a, a rap movie about uh, zombies. <laughs> yes. You ever seen Eight Mile? It's like that, but sharks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, yeah, without the talent. Um, so, so yeah, no, I, I introduced them uh, uh, slightly ironically. And then it started to become an addiction. We, okay. we have to watch horrible movies. So, so I, But I, I, th I think specifically what it was, was him and my brother, who I believe had more of an interest in the beginning, kept showing... I thought I knew what a bad movie was. Like, you see Hollywood release a bad Rookie. movie, and it's got slick... <laughs> it's, you know, it looks slick, and they still got top-name actors. just kind of crap. I started seeing lower and lower to the point where they were showing me stuff that looked like... Literally, it was filmed on a VHS with... What was the one with the horrible gunshot? Oh, that was, that was sick, too. It, it, the movie's got a so bad that it actually beat into me we could do it ourselves. This is literally the genesis of this movie. They started showing me such crap that I was like, okay, we can you do can something, You can measure too. up to that. We could, we yes. could at least make crap. We, at least we, could, so we can get to At least the reach level. the level of crap. Was that the idea from the beginning? Let's make like a parody or let's make a movie that's not good? Uh, that's a great There'd question, actually. No like, like, I mean, the, I mean, the Craigslist ad, was it about Oh, that? no. Uh, uh, that, the that, Craigslist that, ad was simply just looking for comedy, comedy writers. Right. Okay. And we did actually do a couple screenplays. We tried to do this with the original group with a movie called Homeless, which was a script we holed up in his apartment with the other two guys, literally wrote on a two-day sleepover, and then random filmed like 75% yes. of it and eventually just walked away. But we tried this one time before. I don't think Homeless had kind of the absurd spirit of the humor you want. I don't think it was as good as this because we had Emmy and Ali, our post production crew, coming out. Good at being a relative term, but. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yes. <laughs> just like, let's try to be like that. Yeah. In, in general, to, to go back to your question, I think we. The, the genre that uh, everyone now knows of Sharknado is called shark exploitation, which, of course, is a takeoff, the exploitation, the black exploitation, all that yeah. type of stuff. So it's actually a pretty big genre. I think some people don't actually know how big it is because we've shown a couple people the trailer and they just laugh at the absurdity of the shark in the land setting, which is awesome. We love it. But if you've seen these type of movies, you know there's nothing but sharks in absurd settings. Yeah. So um, we always kind of wanted to piggyback on that. The funny thing is the title, this dude must spit out 20 freaking puns a minute when we hang out. Just dis For disposable puns. I am the puns. Punisher. Case in point. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> one, day, pun. <laughs> one day as we were discussing the movie, he was like, yeah, I still remember the actual day in your living room. We could call it Bad CGI Sharks. Dumb little laugh and just a throwaway joke. It stuck. And that title has gotten us a laugh every time and is always a good hook for us. I think we're going to get probably 50% more attention than we actually deserve because of that title. So thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. But, <laughs> so okay. anyway, circling back to what you were saying, we, we knew we kind of wanted to piggyback on the shark genre. The actual um, version of it that it became, like you were saying last night, there were kind of three different versions. There was one in the beginning which was excessively meta, where every five seconds we were winking, hey, we know we're in a movie, we know this is a badly written script. I think there was a second version that took it a little more seriously. Yeah. And, and then, then finally this one. Uh, the third one was when we decided to make the protagonist, my brother and I, and kind of use that to anchor it. Uh, and mostly we decided also to do something within our means. Very good point, um, yes. The budget of our movie is... Uh, exact number I, coming, folks. Yes. I don't mean to brag, but it's uh, $6,257.34. Because somebody wants to supersize it. I'm sorry, I get hungry. I know. It's tough <laughs> being that uh, stupid on would film. Would have been just like even on the 57. Um, and, and so we we're saying, okay, let's just like, not go overboard. Let's just like, do something that is within our means. So Which I think is the biggest problem. Their house the... became a set. Our mm -hmm. My house became a set. Burbank became a set. We well, stole all of Burbank. Well, we didn't get caught. <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> I hate to break it to you, Burbank is a set. Guerrilla film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. I yes. would say a strong, well, once once the guys get out on the adventure, a strong like 75% of this movie is guerrilla shot. And again, not, thanks to our crew, not that it looks like it, but we literally just, okay, uh, here, okay, go do your lines for all, all once the guys get out on their adventure. <laughs> yes, um, we, so we had uh, Alessandro Arcidiacono is our cameraman. Oh, and it's so beautiful. Special effects technician. Emilio Pozzolini is the sound guy, the master mixer, and the composer of the soundtrack. And without them, it would have been a complete disaster. To me, if we, <laughs> if, if we didn't have the guys, this would not be as the same type of project. I think they yeah. totally elevated us. If you guys end up listening to this, shout out to Emmy and Ali from this gas thing. We love you. I think they really bumped us up. But And it's, it's funny because a lot of people knowing us, uh, they thought we were going to fail. Yes, well, no, first of all, that's not true. Everyone, we still have to fail. 
So you're working on it. We're working on it. We're building up to fail every single day. Yes. You guys are giving us uh, a platform. No, they, they were <laughs> expecting uh, for something shot on iPhones or something like that. And uh, the vast majority of people, when they saw the trailer, uh, say, exactly. <laughs> say, professional looking trailer. It looks like a trailer. And, and we said, well, thanks. Thanks for the vote. Well, I mean, hell, we were that. surprised too. <laughs> that was the aim, yeah. Holy crap, it looks like a movie. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be a piece of shit. And, and we had uh, uh, our producer, uh, Sheila Marie, she got uh, all the talents she had. And uh, all the, uh, let me rephrase that, all the talents who were for free. On uh, and her. Yeah, uh, shout out uh, to every, literally every, every person for working one. for free. Uh, shout out to our cast. Uh, That's us. awesome. Okay. And um, wait till SAG hears about this. Yes, yeah. yes. SAG will. And I actually, because you've got the CGI in there too. Yes. yes. We didn't pay the sharks though. They just they're very poor. Yeah, the Don't sharks, let PETA find out about this. Yeah, exactly. No, shark, sharks, they just like a tuna. <laughs> very poor it's, conditions. It's mm. um, but uh, yeah, no, it was, it was shot in 21 days. So we still don't know exactly how. We pull it off, um, and it was a lot of fun. Okay, where is this thing going to show up, if ever, anywhere? <laughs> in my living room, That's definitely. Uh, you guys are all invited <laughs> over to Mateo's living room. Yes, uh, uh, premiere. Uh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a local premiere soon. Um, everything is up in the air right now, as we're still actively working towards finishing the product. But one of the things that he brought up, which I love because I love Burbank, and I'm sure you guys know about the whole Magnolia Park strip here with all the shops. Um, a good buddy of his, Del Howison. Del Howison, yes, at, from Dark, uh, Dark Delicacies. Delicacies. Much love to Dark Delicacies, local bookstore in town here in Burbank. Has been very kind to my buddy here, Mateo, and very kind to us as well through this whole process. He <laughs> 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 caught me off guard for a second. I was like, what? Uh, but, uh, we, we have would, jump scares here. We would yeah, love we to do... jump scares for the sharks. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole thing with trying to save Magnolia Park now because I guess they've been shutting down a lot of the shops. Uh, Creature Features in town here, one of me and my brother's favorite uh, memorabilia shops uh, shut down. Wasn't, wasn't there another one, Mateo, or Dell was talking about? The, yeah, the, 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 but, well, the writer's store was, was yeah, so, shut so down. So a lot of places on the strip, we'd love to do something to help have a screening of that and bring it in. I think we were talking about doing it in uh, coal, not coalition, cooperation with Dell from the bookstore, but... Um, all, we, a lot of stores are interested in just like anything that could help talk about the, the Magnolia. Uh, my brother and I moved and to Burbank and, two years ago. And they we, live have, there. we absolutely love it here. I, I love Burbank. It's a great town. This I is love um, <coughs> Hollywood. Right. Well, sorry. Well, Ron, we love it there. <laughs> <laughs> For the list on the radio. On the radio, you like. can be anywhere. We're yeah. in Alaska yes. right now. Look, it's <laughs> yes, a polar exactly. bear. <laughs> no, me and me and Ron meet up at, all the time in Burbank, so that's why I jumped to there. But and it's filmed in Burbank. But yeah, we love Burbank and. Uh, we want to organize a premiere, and if we can do that and also help something bring attention to the street. Anybody be listening amazing. who has a facility that might be appropriate for a premiere, give us a call. Yes, yes. Please do. And We're how would they do that? Uh, they pick up the phone and they <laughs> dial, a dial the number. Uh, yes, the easy, which would be easiest probably way I for have the group. I absolutely groups. no idea. No, no, okay, no. okay. So here's what you do <laughs> Bad CJ Best Radio LA is an email address. If you just send an email to Best Radio LA, and give us your contact information. No cost, no obligation, and no sharks will be sent to your home. No, also, not yet at least. We do CGI have our we do have our official yes our official site. Thank you, sir. BadCGISharks.com, and there will be an email attached to there. If you go to the website BadCGISharks.com, the email will actually be right as a link. So you can also do that, or do as Ron so great. Which is offered. chomp chomp. At, uh, yeah. .com. Creativity at work, folks. That's the kind of unbridled yes. creative genius you're dealing with. Yes, we have yes, still. But, oh, sure. What's next? What's next? What comes after this? Uh -huh. We wish we knew. <laughs> we wish we knew. Uh, yes, I don't know. We're I obsessively hope. writing scripts in the hope that yes. someone will notice this mm -hmm. and we can get a foot in it. I mean, we've been doing this for 10 years, just trying to get something going. We've tried every different medium. Oh. We've done an online cartoon. Typical Hollywood success story. Exactly. Typical Hollywood success story. Just don't, don't say success. It still has to happen. The, the typical Hollywood <laughs> failure story. <laughs> we get to the threshold. Of Mateo's that, paranoid but. about positive. Yes. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, the amazing projects that we're working on, of course, because they're all amazing. Um, because you made it. Because you're uh, making it. Of course, it. yes, exactly. Because yeah. we're the only one who watched it. Positive. Um, <laughs> there all those 6,000 views on the trailer, that's all me. I love that thing. Yes. There was the idea of doing Titanic 2 where they miss the iceberg and they get to New York and, and nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. Um, no, but we're... we're Bigger we're, budget. We're, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but a shorter movie. Yeah. Um, we have this idea of the... It's just a pleasant time. Yeah. The most lethal, one of the most lethal creatures in the ocean because we love the oceans. And uh, there's this uh, creature who's... Uh, um, attacks uh, have 90% uh, of success. It absolutely is amazing to see it attack uh, other creatures. And I'm talking, of course, of the seahorse. And so we are doing, uh, we will do unusually large seahorse. Unusually large seahorse. Yes, that's, that's a nuclear seahorse. 
One no, seahorse or seahorses? Just one seahorse. Yes, seahorse. Yes. The all budgets all you, all you won't allow us. Yes. So it's gonna all be, they needed was one. Yes. It's not going to be just <laughs> large. One. It's unusually large. Why yeah. somehow they're, you're going to be able to like impose Godzilla and the seahorse oh, fighting each amazing. other. Eventually, that's going to be when, when, when <laughs> we do the... He does come out from the ocean. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's a battle of territory. Right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Who and, gets and the reef? Because, because we were trying to do Dirty Dancing with Wolves, but th- that was a whole different story. That dirty the, Dancing with Wolves. Yeah, it just movies, they yeah. never worked. Uh, <laughs> so of all the packs and all the fields, yes. nobody and needs nobody Costner at the corner. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, well, uh, let's yeah. take a little break here for some commercial messages. <laughs> and uh, right. Greater Nation. Yep, Greater, Greater Nation. Nation. Um, our friends at Greater Nation Heating and Cooling, and our best friend Paul Stanley mm-hmm. wants me to remind you to uh, get your AC uh, heating unit checked. Um, and if you mention the three amigos, you get twenty dollars off for only seventy nine bucks. His number is eight one eight eight five seven nine six five one. Eight one eight eight five seven nine six five one. Absolutely. I mean, for that price there too. Sh- it's a good deal. That's a heck of a deal. It's cheaper than going to the bar and buying drinks for your friends and then the hangover <laughs> the next day. Uh, so. We have an extraordinary deal here with First Digital Surveillance. Uh, if you happen to contact them and let them know that you heard about them from our show, you will get a free camera with a purchase of any system with three or more. So you get four cameras instead of three. And if you happen to be a police officer or a firefighter, uh, you also get 10% off with them. And the number to reach them is 310-901-4954. Again, that is 310-901. 4954. And with that extra camera, you can point it out onto Scott Road. Is what you can do. We need to find So apparently we we need to find (laughs) Ron's assailant. assailant. (laughs) It's like, you know that kid who got beat up in school and he didn't know who did it? Like some kids shoved him in a locker and so now he spends like the next two weeks trying to figure out like mapping like footsteps and everything. I'm going to see like a wall with crayon drawings. Uh, I'm hoping it's like Fight Club. We see like Ron beat himself up. (laughs) (laughs) It was actually him. It was actually him the whole time. He just (laughs) Is this a really unreliable narrator? It just wanted attention. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the love. He was, he was the guy that said it looks there like he got some road rash. Like there's no cars in the street. Who was that man? There's no cars parked yeah, it's anywhere. Just, it's it's just just He's very Well, I'm open to any possibility. Uh, did you see that SUV? Ron, there's no cars you out there. You don't want the truth, Ron. <laughs> you don't want I thank you for your help. <laughs> I saw a play the other day, because I do that sometimes. In fact, I review lots oh, of plays. Right. I reviewed mm-hmm. thousands. And this is the first play I have seen that I would call a must-see show. And you're going to say, oh, come on. Everybody knows what this is about. Oh, come on. Everyone knows what this is about. Yeah. yeah. No, you hey. don't. It's called Romeo and Juliet. And what do you know? Heard it. Yeah, heard it. But not <laughs> this story. Read it. Read not it. this one. This is not from Verona. Oh. Mm-mm. Yeah. And it's not 500 years old, written by some old British dude. Yeah. Well, what's it about, Ron? It's about Romeo and Juliet. Heard it. Go on. <laughs> Do you remember Hitler? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember? The time difference is important. Oh. It's still two kids committing statutory rape. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Romeo's 16, Juliet's 13. Think about it. If that's your daughter, you're going to have a chat with her? Not, I'm thinking about it right now, actually. <laughs> yeah. How much are you thinking about it? Too much. Uh, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> just enough. Just, just enough. enough. Here. Just this is enough. being recorded, just in case you want to know. Yes. <laughs> Put the daughter in the bedroom, please. Let's not lock the door. <laughs> okay. Dodge or kill to Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet at the uh, group rep. It's uh, Larry Chapman Theater at 10900 Burbank Boulevard in NoHo, North Hollywood. Here's what's different about it. It's... M- takes place in the 1930s in Berlin, Germany. Mm. There's a Romeo and there's a Juliet, but they're not in Verona. They're in Germany. They're in Germany during the rise of Nazism. It turns out Romeo is Aryan and Juliet is Jewish, and this creates a little stress in the relationship. But when you see it unfold in the manner that it does, it is superbly done. It just brings up all kinds of thoughts of you know, how we as a people find interesting ways to hate other people. And it, it's nothing new. It's, it wasn't new to Nazism. It wasn't new. I, you know, I, in fact, in my review, I even pointed out, yeah, you know, Hitler was responsible for six million Jews dying. Uh, then there was Lyndon Baines, and I can't use his last name on the radio, Lyndon Baines, uh, <coughs> MM, um, three million Vietnamese dead. And Why? 
And I was part of that. But that's not part of the play, though. No, that's, yeah, not, that's, part of, that's, that's not part that's of the different. play directly, but the, the idea. Right. Yeah, yeah the idea. The, the of, dynamic that exists. Of bad yeah. people. And, and how yeah. it can always, it always comes out somewhere, somewhere in the world at any given time. Yeah. There's always somebody that wants to say, well, I got an idea. Let's go kill these other guys because they're bad and we're good. and They need, they need to die. And it keeps going on. And uh, at some point in time, I don't know what, maybe, I don't know, somebody get their hands on too many nukes and that will end it, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, it's, a t- it's, it's one of the dark sides of human nature. And, and yet you can see that the love that is exhibited between Romeo and Juliet in the show is like very visceral, very real. And then you want to, how does it go from that to this? Very powerful show. Yeah. You want to go see it, it's at the Lonnie Chapman Theater, Romeo and Juliet. Do yourself a favor. Spend the $20, $25, whatever the hell it is. It's worth it. It'll, it'll leave you with a lifelong memory and thoughts that keep coming back and recurring about the nature of mankind. Yeah. Well, I'm not picking on any one group. You won't see the end coming. <laughs> uh, unless you <laughs> no gift from it. All right. Just like that movie Titanic. I have no yes, idea what's happening no. in it. Spoiler alert in the title. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just no, it's, of, it's a good it's one. It kind of sinks into your memory. Ron doesn't usually like plays, so this is actually a pretty good pretty good. Uh, hey, excuse me, just because every time I take you, we leave at halftime. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. It must have been good. <laughs> so, like, I actually made it through the whole first half. No one willingly Wait, goes to a play. You finish the play. <laughs> Everyone is dragged there by someone in the show. Like, yeah, yeah all right, I'll come on my yeah, Tuesday no, night. Yeah, all holding flowers. I have a girlfriend in the show. Huh? Yeah, it's not a play; it's an <laughs> obligation. Yeah. But right. so, are you going to do a play of, about t- sharks? Oh my God, that would be amazing. We can get bad CGI puppets. Yes, <laughs> that would actually be amazing. <laughs> it's like the Muppet Show, but shit. Yeah. Would you so like you me to review it now and save you all the effort? Please. Okay, don't go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Good <laughs> advice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that takes care of. of okay, that takes yeah. care of all that. That's our new. That's our new tagline, Ron. Jason oh, Ellsworth with us today, along with um, Matthew, who didn't make it because he's the bright one in the We're family. Backpack in his place. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> the backpack is in his place. He's in Molinari. the backpack. That would be I. Yes. Ah, uh, and the backpack. That's for Matthew. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Unusually oh, bring him out. Let him say a word or two. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else is coming up after this? When, when is this? When do we get to see the show? When do we, where do we get to see it? Will you get to see it on YouTube or what? Uh, I don't know. You've <laughs> caught us at an interesting moment. As yeah. like I said, we are uh, we're very close to the end of finishing it, and we're trying to see where we could find a home. So hey, if anybody um, listening to this has any interest yes. in a if meta shark comedy, cigars. tons of heart behind it, and an absurd sense of humor, you could hit us up. Uh, but, we, yeah, we're looking for the best possible thing. We will hopefully, ideally, this will be a stepping stone to finally get, I don't know, some I'm paid thinking. work yes. or something. Yeah. But, uh, yes, we, we like I said, we're definitely going to do a local premiere. We have a couple connects for that, and we want to have everyone Looking at any film paid. festivals? Yes. We are, uh, we are looking at a couple of uh, film festivals as well, yes. Okay, as a yeah. guy that once worked for the Burbank International Film Festival, let me explain to you how they work. They don't. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We've heard mm. horrible things. Yes. yes. I mean, there's, well. there's the one up in where... Sunset, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. We, we, we have a Paul couple Newman of. Or, no, no, <laughs> there, there are a few festivals outside of the United States. Where Toronto's good. They, they still, uh, there is one in Germany. There is one in England also. There is uh, yeah. more than one. Uh, there is surprisingly one in Italy. I had no idea about that. So well, get us into that one, man. Jesus, I will. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's it's in <laughs> even it's even in June. So it's a little. Well, you got to plan ahead. Yeah, 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 exactly. You guys we'll, have a lot of time. We will. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so. even though it's it's a bad movie. It, it was still done with like actual well, attention. There's if, heart behind if it. I, if you know I may I mean? speak on that, because yeah. I feel like, uh, we when the bloody disgusting article came out, they gave us this really awesome headline of yes. sci-fi's terrible show. You guys know about the deluge of sci-fi channel shark movies, the five-headed shark attack and yeah. shark. Yeah. shark, oh, oh, shark yeah. and there was a so, bird one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So um, the, they were gracious enough to give us the headline, sci-fi's terrible shark movies get their own Deadpool with upcoming bad CGI sharks. Perfect. So... It, w- it quickly gave you the idea that it was about the, the shark exploitation genre that was going to be meta. And as, but as grateful as I am for that, I was saying we kind of now have to overcome the stigma, which gives us attention, but also detracts like, oh, it's another one like that. It's intentionally bad. It's bad on purpose. We were trying for it. 
we actually, with everything in no, our you being, you don't have enough talent for that. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> exactly. The idea was we'll try to make it bad. So it's we, gonna be yeah. good. We have <laughs> no, done good. the opposite. We found out that Amazon does not sell talent. Yes. So uh, we had to do it with <laughs> whatever we had. But but honestly, we really did. Um, we tried to approach this saying we have problems with these low budget creature flicks as well. We are fans of them, but often they fall short in what should be the enjoyment of their B movie absurdity. So. To anybody listening, if I may be corny and idealistic, we really did try to put our heart into it, to give yeah. an actual story, to sculpt the characters, to have a relationship between me and my brother that we got to come back together. This guy is spent his life studying the language of movies and the building blocks. So, yes, it was inspired by bad ones. Yes, we want to get some of that B-movie dumb humor blowback, but we really did try to make a good movie for you guys. Our, we put our hearts into it, and I'd be blessed oh, if a single person sees it. That's so nice. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that's so great. Aww. Now we can go like back that. to dick jokes. Yes. No, no. Uh, actually, um, have you guys seen The Room? I feel like oh. that, that's another movie. Oh. Oh. Have oh. oh. we oh. seen I saw it last Saturday. Yeah. Okay. We, he was there. I brought he my brother yeah. to that see That was their MBA in time. movie making. Yeah, that's like the watershed moment for bad movies. Yeah. Now everybody sort of like has to be into it. I, I think it was the moment James where, Franco yes, it, it kind of turned the tide of yeah. show, putting a, a showcase on, at least for the mainstream, of how people devour these low-budget yeah. cinemas. Yeah. I mean, The Room is a unique example because uh, Tommy Wiseau, the writer-director, everything behind it, has such a singular vision one way or another. <clears throat> I feel like the reason is not necessarily it's bad, which it is, but mm, right. it's that berserk, uh, un, in, unimitatable, is that the right word? Unimitable? Un, un, Inimitable. Yeah. 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 There's a better way to say it. I screwed yeah. it up. But it's that berserk energy Tommy had that one way or another created a unique film. Because we've yeah. watched tons of bad movies. A massive percentage of them are not as interesting or bizarrely hilarious because as The Room. This is sort right. of like because a character study without even trying. Yes. yes. It's, yes. it's like, yes. This yes. Is, That's exactly this, you're watching right. this guy. His psyche yes. unfold. Yeah. This yep. is how he thinks. Who hurts you, Tommy? This, this, this is you. how he throws a football. And mostly, you cannot really say, oh my God, that movie was a, a huge bomb if after 15 years. Beloved. It's yeah. still worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide appreciated. Yeah. And they made movies out of that. And, and it, it, so you say, okay, when we don't have time. I'm, I'm old. I don't have 15 years time to see if, if our movie You're happens. Dying 15 like that. years? Listen to this. I don't know. Listen to this. Accor <laughs> according to deathclock.com, I will Death die. Clock. Yes. The I will die on metal band. <laughs> December. No. It's I hope someone got it. I will die on December 24th, uh, 2039. Christmas Eve. Bummer. I know. Well, I, I don't Stole have to buy any, any what gift What metrics do they so use that's for that? Day. Damn. I yeah. have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> they say, let's see. Oh, is there <laughs> another gullible? Let's yeah. just like, put it like that. Um, no, but we, we try to do something uh, as honest as possible. It does have... A lot of problems due to limitation, of course. Uh, but we try to uh, write a basic. Don't go outside your means. Yes, I think exactly. the biggest the biggest problem with the um, the creature low budget creature feature is they're like let's take this low budget and do Michael Bay. So everything yes. is outside of your means. The big uh, explosions, the battles, the battleships, the army, the creatures. They and have it goes great outside ideas, your means. Uh, but the the. the so, yeah, the execution we, is a little... No, this is getting scary. They're starting this is to talk about battleship, talking right? About. This is talking about battleship. Talk about battleship and all this <laughs> crazy BS. Nobody had floating aliens whenever you were playing battleship, all right? The red and blue I, pegs, there was no floating aliens. None whatsoever. The little buzzsaw thing, come on. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about the battleship movie with Rihanna. Yeah, that's what he's talking and about. And Taylor Kish. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mr. What's John Carter John from Mars. John Carter. Ooh, that was a rough summer for him. Dope movies. I got two big blockbusters. Mom, a movie. Oh. Just say yes. <laughs> what what are they? John Carter and <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, John <laughs> Carpenter. God damn. What is, John Carter is it like a political movie? No, it, no. Was. You'll see. It wasn't, You'll see. <laughs> exactly. oh, no, it wasn't it, horrible. But it was, but it it was stigma. Something. It's all about yes. the stigma. Stigma, plus, stigma, it's, stigma. It's I'm gonna make a movie. Call it David Williams. David Williams. <laughs> That's an idea. That's it. The sequel to John Carter. No trailer. Just the just the text. Well, you know, they did Jack Ryan. So yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, I That's think they true. had they had a colon They're back. though. Like yes. Jack is back. You yeah, always need back. a colon. Yeah. Hunt for Red October and like uh, the Shadow Recruit and stuff like that. You don't uh, yeah. need that with those names. <laughs> Sister Act Two. Back unless in the it's habit. unless it's The Rock. You yep. can just put down The Rock in some yes. movies. Yeah. That's the Sister Act Four. The Rock. <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> the Rock the is movie. contractually <laughs> obligated to be in every piece of film ever produced from this moment <laughs> going forward. Yes. Next ten years. <laughs> I think he actually shows up in Bad CGI Sharks. Yeah. I would, yeah. yeah. He just walked out of the set. Hey guys. Hey, wait, 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 is that a shark? Yeah. <laughs> you just see his posters everywhere. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they should do a remake of The Rock and with The Rock. The Rock. The well, we, we were excited about Rampage because it was uh, exactly 
inadvertently piggybacking on what I was saying. Yeah. Rampage this past year was the terrible sci-fi movies with a budget. And as you can ask this guy, they, him and my brother like them. I friggin' in the theater like it's church, just drooling with big eyes. So when you give me big creature stomping action with a budget, I'm in heaven. That's why I'm so geeked about the new Godzilla franchise, the Kong. Uh, so this genre in many ways is very close to my heart. I think... Uh, I would say in the interest of brutal honesty to not go in expecting too much gore because it's more about the comedy, and that's just, you know, because I know how people think about it. But What happens uh, to the girl? Ron, you have to watch to find out. Yes. That's, okay. She's, a, she's her only it's, selling it's, hook. It's Otherwise, you got to look at our dumb asses the whole time. It's a mystery that we pretty much give away in the trailer. But, yes, it's a mystery. Nobody knows where she That's is. our Jaws girl. Shout out to Autumn. Yes. Wow. I mean, for what you said. <laughs> They're catching us off guard with those sound yes. effects. This audience. We love them. Where are uh, these invisible so people clapping? I don't know. Yeah, the they're in another they're room. They're, they're in the walls. They're in the walls. <laughs> they're coming down from the vents. <laughs> they're powering everything here. <laughs> right. When they're not running the uh, the treadmills. Just don't say they're in the trees. Ron might have a bit of an <laughs> issue. <clapping. laughs> so where, where, did, where did you get this prognostication of your date of death? From deathclock.com. What a question. Death? Deathclock.com. Oh, Ron doesn't know about Death Clock. You, you can also go clock. to Adult Swim. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You type in Death Clock, Death Clock. <laughs> yeah. and you, type. You, you put your, your, your date of birth. You say if you are a smoker or not, and then voila. Whoops. You died <laughs> 10 years ago. Oh. Easy, <laughs> he said you're a smoker. <laughs> you were yes, you're, you're technically dead. dead. You were supposed to be died dead in 1994. 1994. <laughs> exactly. Yes. You walk in corpse. I'm sorry, you're past due. <laughs> you weren't uh, supposed to be born. You sold your soul to the devil then, buddy. You're Mateo. Yes. You've been dead <laughs> still for here. 40 years. <laughs> exactly. You're still here. Wait a second. Security. Uh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What comes after this? Um, yeah, what comes after this, man? What comes after We this? still have to keep working the, the day jobs? I don't know. Yes, I guess. <laughs> uh, like I said, we, me and, and the fellas here have been at this. Around. That's what <laughs> We've been at this for about 10 years. We've tried every different medium, cartoons and screenplays and so shorts and skits. Yeah. So. And it's always funny because... At first, but not a play. You haven't done a play. No, that's not true. We yet. have not we done. Briefly, we were trying to do it with Master Clown Shroom Show or something. Yeah, like like that, I said, we've yes. we've probably tried every damn yes, medium every possible, iteration. Yeah. But, and uh, it was fun because at first we were saying, okay, let's, we should write something. And, and, and then we find Big Man with a Cigar reading uh -huh. it and say, aha, I want to produce it. Oh, Harvey. And then, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yes, and then he went away. I, I know. Don't, I, so, I don't think he would be that big of an attraction to Harvey. Let me show you I can fit that shark. Yeah. And and so we say, okay. It's not CGI. Oh, now we know what happens to the girl. Yeah. Yes. That was Harvey. You want to see a bad CGI. Yes, it's a whole different bag. And that's what we say. Okay, let's let's try to do something. So we did amazingly awful series on on YouTube, which they 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 got probably. Again, tens of viewers or something. Like hey, that. the first episode has like a thousand views or something. He's referring, it, of course, to American Graffitis. And man, if you love puns, that whole damn internet cartoon is nothing but. Yes. It's, it's, that was our first venture, is yes. a, based on an entire pun uh, fetus yes. internet it's, cartoon. Uh -huh. two, Who was two, Ronnie Howard in the. Two, <laughs> <laughs> two embryos on a hot road cruising for chicks. Yeah. It's American Graffitis. So you guys can YouTube uh, that if you want. Is see that, the no, early that's work okay. of Majama. That's, that's that was, animated? Or yes, animated. Yeah. Animated. Oh, okay. animated. No with, live action. Low yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. We got some really we rising some stars. Don't, <laughs> probes and stuff, yes. <laughs> Don't uh, tell the abortion people we're yeah. filming shows with fetuses. So eventually we decided, okay, fine. We let's, found two miracles. Let's try to make a movie ourselves. After 10 years, we came to this conclusion. So we made our movie, hoping that the big guy with a cigar say, ah, I want to distribute. Yeah. Now they're telling us, ah, do you have a theater? I said, Damn it. Long no, story no. short, we don't know, but I'm incredibly proud of this. And um, if we can get even the tiniest bit of cult audience that actually enjoys our stupidity, I'll be very happy. But of course, yes, we want to. Ideally, this leads to something in 2019 the 2019 con, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. But the other day, I showed it to my brother for the first time, and he did not fall asleep. That's which good. Is, That's which good. is a good, good But uh, on, does, on does he still claim to be a relative? No, no he, he's disabled. No, he gouged his own eyes uh, by himself, but I, I'm sure that... But he was wasn't asleep. asleep. He wasn't asleep. He was the dead, blood was asleep, pouring. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was death. That wasn't disinterest. Yes. Yes. Uh, the couch didn't come clean, but whatever. What, what, um, let's see, what makes a bad movie in the way that you think of bad? Not like a bad Hollywood movie. This but is like an excellent an actual... question. Because there are, like I said, yeah. there's several different degrees. I think a big... Um, we watch this online show, uh, me and the guys, called Red Litter Media, and they break down a lot of really bad yeah, movies. They do. You, yes, you they do. Yeah. So I think what I've taken from them in our discussions is that if there's an honesty and a passion behind it and you fail honestly... Like if the person actually set out to do something and just simply couldn't, you can kind of pick up on the honesty and the passion and enjoy it 
in the so bad it's good way. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's just strictly a lazy effort or just really bad, Soulless. it's yeah. not like yeah. I, so many times we've sat down to watch one of these with the guys and I'm really geeked to just make fun of a movie for an hour and a half and five minutes in I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm literally bored. There's nothing to like even make yeah, fun of. They're so, much too serious yeah. in between the Serious, monsters, that's what it is, yes. The, 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 the monsters attacks or whatever you want to call it. Um, Roger Corman, who is a, a god, um, he actually kind of like started to crack that mold with Sharktopus, uh, where that was a step above. He, yeah. he realized and say, okay, this is so absurd. Let's try to put some irony or some wink, wink in yeah. through the scenes, yeah. so at least it gets a little more palatable. Uh, but the vast majority are still so serious. Oh, we're doing well, this. Uh, I think you you can sell anything if it's your passion project. Like we put so much of our journey from New Jersey to L.A. or meeting him or what we love or trying to break into the industry or how it feels to be 10 years in or even longer than that and still be trying to dream into sharks. So that was really important. My brother said we can't control many things. What we can control is the script. So let's actually try to give a shit about it. I think you can pull off anything, like I said, even if it becomes a so bad it's good. If you actually have passion, if you actually care, a lot of these movies, and I'm not even hating on it because you're a factory and you obviously have a, you make business, but I think it's cookie cutter assembly line. Look, we got to pump out 20 in a year. Yeah. So it's more of like a job. It's a day yeah. job. You go to it. I think anybody who comes to a movie with a beating sense of passion about any subject and you have that honesty, more than likely you'll probably at the very worst get a so bad it's good or you can see the potential in it. So mm. I think just actually care, which is you would yeah. think would be obvious. Yeah. But yeah. with a lot of product, it seems like it's not about that. So, yeah. again, yeah. idealism. Well, I think there's a certain business ethic, too, that some people just get into – we have to make X many of whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, get it out yes. the door, and if we spend a million, we want to make two. If, you know that kind of thing, and that's that's you know that makes sense, but it it doesn't go to what you're talking about, which is the passion of the creator. And, yeah, uh, I mean, you, you see in these movies that they're just like, uh, um, it looks like they have a, 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 a check a rubric, a, a checklist, you know? and they say, okay, we have to have the beautiful girl getting killed. Yeah. Check. Well, we have that. Uh, at, yes, and <laughs> at a certain point, there has to be a family conflict uh, of some sort, either the daughter hating the father or the wife yeah. uh, hating the Well, we have that. We have that. No, I know and, what you're saying, though. And, uh, well, we, we have something, but at least we try to work it organically into the story and not just like uh, all of a sudden, oh, wait, we have to have a fight. I, uh, think I hate you. No, no we if you, try it, to it's, it's caring about the characters uh, yes. is the other thing. It's not just the passion, but it's also uh, caring about it. I think if you, we tried to actually care about the characters, you'll see. We tried to give them dignity and personality. So you say if, you'll see. You assume that they're watching it. <laughs> okay, that's good. If you guys do decide to watch this at some yes. point, hopefully you'll, you'll see that we, we care. So <laughs> where, do you, where do you want to go to watch this? What, or, what's your website? We what's will your website? let... Oh, yes, uh, badcgisharks.com, or what they were so gracious to play in the beginning is our YouTube trailer. So if you guys YouTube Bad CGI and Sharks, you'll see our every trailer. Every single information about the movie, if we're having a distribution or a uh, screening and stuff like that, will come. Yes. Over there, we'll post it over Also there. Twitter, at Bad CGI Sharks, if you guys would like to follow. Uh, so, yes, just just the name. Just remember the dumb, goofy name, Bad CJ Sharks. Google that. It'll all pop up. Okay, I want to thank you guys for stopping by today. I want to thank you for having us. We're going to wrap up the show with a couple of mentions of uh, Northern Minerals, which we've heard me talk about before, because big, big, big news yesterday. They jumped up from zero to 80,000 shares in a day, which is a big move for a little mm -hmm. company. And why do you think this happened? Because the word got out. They got their first tranche of financing. And they expect the bigger tranche next week, and that will enable them to put their first well, and they have several, but put their first well into production. And that means they go from having no money to a nice, big, fat cash flow. And when you're a public company, that means everything. So you might want to take a look at this if you're the kind of person that enjoys high-spec stocks. This is that. This is not guaranteed. This is not a T-bill. Uh, it's a high-spec stock, but it's only 6 or $0.07 cents a, penny, a, a share. NMEX, Northern Minerals and Exploration, to trade on a bulletin board. NMEX colon OTC and check it out. Have you guys looked at it before? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Just I told you, I told you, I said, stand down. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because they thought they had their money and then they didn't. Yeah. And yep. this is, this is big news. Much it's just waiting like in, in, and in doing any business. Yeah. You think you got it, whether it's in a movie or it's an oil well or whatever. And then suddenly, oh, wait a minute. We forgot to tell you, not this month. You know, so. That's the way it happens in the real world. Now they've got the money. They're getting the next tranche next week, and they're already looking good in the market. Check it out. NMEX, Northern Minerals and Exploration, OTC Bulletin Board. Our guests today have been uh, a Joyzy boy and Italiano. I said that beautifully. That's fantastic. <laughs>
Okay, that's a beautiful enough. run. Beautiful. Jason Amazing Ellsworth, game. our guest, and uh, Matteo Molinari. That would be I. There Waiting. you go. Uh, talking the about radio. their their crazy movie, Bad CGI Sharks, which I'm sure is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a blast. I can't wait funny to watch with it. a lot of heart. And yeah. with that note, let's bring up a little music and say farewell to our fine listeners. Stu, keep listening. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>